Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. We finally have confirmation of update 1.51, which will be releasing next Thursday on October the 3rd. So in the early hours of this morning, a little bit different in terms of the timing than usual, Kaz did head over to X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it now, to show off the free silhouettes for the vehicles coming with update 1.51 quite difficult to decipher overall there's really not much on show but there is a fairly obvious silhouette to a couple of these vehicles mainly the front right and the mid left definitely the most difficult to decipher one is certainly the one right at the top of the image this is definitely some kind of van shape but overall much more difficult to kind of get a grasp of considering we only realistically see the roof of this vehicle unlike the others where we actually see some of the proper body lines to them so without further ado let's jump straight in and have a look at what i believe these three new vehicles are coming with update 1.51 However, before we do get into the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upload. So let's start off with probably the most obvious one of the group. This is definitely going to be the right hand vehicle, which is very obviously a type of Nissan GTR. Now we already have plenty of these in game, but it definitely looks like it's from the R35 generation. And that really only leaves a couple of vehicles it could possibly be. And I certainly think this will more than likely be the most up to date Nissan GTR, the more modern facelifted version, which I believe did roll around in 20. 2023 so that is going to be my choice for the right hand vehicle it definitely looks to be some type of r35 gtr and it would make most sense to have the sort of most up-to-date more updated facelifted model i honestly don't believe it will be the nismo version i'm pretty sure there is a nismo one of this um, again there was a lot of images of both of them showing off when the gtr got this sort of big sort of face lifted update to it in terms of the performance i'm not even really sure where the gtr is at anymore obviously this is a car that's gone through many many different looks over the years and um, it had its first major facelift in i believe 2017 which is the one we already have in game and then of course in 2023 it got another refresh and a lot of people are saying this is going to be the final refresh for the r35 gtr now i'm pretty sure from a really old top gear episode that when the nissan gtr first ever launched so the r35 generation that the gran turismo team at the time had a lot to do with the sort of in car displays and the sort of dials and g-force meters and stuff like that so it would kind of make sense if this is going to be the final facelift version or the final model of the r35 gtr that they will give it a sort of you know swan song and a pretty nice good by putting it into their most up-to-date version of the game so going back to the silhouettes it definitely looks like an r35 gtr at the front and overall i'm just gonna have to go with the final version of the r35 gtr in its most updated form especially if we're going to be saying goodbye to this model so heading back to the silhouettes themselves we're going to head over to the left hand side vehicle now this one is definitely much more difficult to decipher however after looking around a little bit it definitely looks to be some type of mitsubishi evo once again if we head back to the leaked car list we have the evo 8 on that car list and the evo 9 and of course previously in this year we did get that evo 9 so this leads me to think and suspect that it's more than likely the evo 8 so when it comes to the evos in game of course we already got the evo 9 in a previous update so that one cannot show up and of course the other one on the list was the evo 8 now again it could possibly be the evo 7 but the biggest giveaway for me that it definitely wouldn't be that one is actually when it comes to the bonnet or hood of the car if you ever look at the evo 7 it usually has this double section um, on the actual hood or bonnet whereas the evo 8 has this sort of one piece section and if we look at the silhouette it does seem to be that kind of one piece on the actual bonnet or hood of the vehicle so for me this is a dead giveaway that it is more than likely the evo 8 from the data mine or leaked car list now in game the evos are definitely some of the strongest tuner cars if we look at the evo 9 that thing's an absolute monster at 700 pp this will probably be the exact same so i'm pretty excited in that sense but it seems so close to the evos 9 release 
that it's quite difficult to get majorly excited about an Evo 8 coming in game. However, personally for me, I do prefer the looks of the Evo 8 overall, so I'm excited in that sense. And for me, it'll probably just replace the Evo 9 as one of my main grinding vehicles. But again, for a lot of people and the untrained eye, they're going to look at this and think, well, it's just another typical Evo. I'm pretty sure we already got that a couple of months ago. For me, I'm personally excited, but I don't see too many people that maybe aren't in the know of Evos or JDM vehicles getting too kind of, you know, excited for this one. So heading back to the silhouette images, we're going to go with the final car of the update. And it's, of course, the one at the top of the screen. Definitely the most difficult one to decipher, but it's very obvious some type of van or people carrier like vehicle. Now, of course, in 2022, I believe we got the Toyota Alphard. Um, and then, of course, we have the likes of the Toyota High Medic. So for me, I think this is more than obvious when it comes to what it could possibly be. So I'm just going to take a guess at this one that it's more than likely going to be the road going version of the High Medic. So the Toyota High Ace is going to be my choice for this final car of the three. Whilst for me personally, I would absolutely love something like the sort of super transit we see, whether that's the new EV one or the sort of old school one from the early 2000s. But in terms of what makes sense for Gran Turismo 7, it is more than likely just going to be the sort of more road going version of the Toyota High Medic, of course, the Toyota High Ace. Um, and in terms of the vehicle itself, I believe these things are sort of like four wheel drive people carriers, a little bit like the Alphard in their road going form. So it would make it a fully four wheel drive update. Of course, the GTR's four wheel drive, the Evo's four wheel drive, and this would be the final one, which is also four wheel drive. So in terms of the vehicle itself, it's probably one of the easier ones that they've modeled. It modeled is probably a sort of last minute decision, um, considering they do, of course, have the high medic in game that did come around about a year ago. They've probably just kind of thought, okay, there's a lot of assets that are shared with the high medic to the standard road going high ace. Um, so we'll just kind of make the road going version. So for me, I pretty much am certain that this is going to be some type of Toyota high ace. I don't think it's going to be anything like one of the super transit or really anything else. I couldn't think of anything else this could probably be. So for me, I'm definitely going to assume, especially with it being a Japanese game and the fact that the high medics in game in its ambulance form, that this is more than likely going to be the Toyota high ace. So overall, with the update silhouettes launched and the update coming next Thursday, more than likely on October 3rd, 2024, my opinion on these vehicles is they're okay. It's a pretty safe update. Definitely not the most exciting. It will be pretty cool to have that final generation of the R35 in terms of the facelifts. The Evo 8 will probably be a great tuner vehicle. And the High Ace, well, I find fun in anything in GT7. So that'll definitely be a bit of a meme vehicle overall. So not bad, but definitely not the most exciting for the most, I guess, casual Gran Turismo player. However, there we go. Update 1.51 is confirmed as coming next week. Let me know what you think the vehicles are going to be if you believe that I am wrong. But I am more than likely certain on these ones. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Take care. Peace.